Good afternoon, everyone. Giving an honor to God and my divine family. This is the Clarity Flamboyant, and I want to talk to you this afternoon about men. The hardest thing to be in this world is black men dealing with the systems that are designed to emasculate them and strip them on their pride and dignity to make sure they never stand in their truth and know their strength to get advantages in breaking up the black families and all persons of color. By weakening the colored communities, they try to make it their priority to jail black men and young colored teens and men to separate them from their families, to cause their absence, causing their images to be tarnished by implicating them to be neglectful in their children's lives and painted as deadbeats. Released from jail or prison with criminal records, making it impossible for them to find the employment while stripping them of their rights to vote and arm themselves, giving them no survival options. So most men end up back into criminal activities that lands them back in jail or prison. Their ultimate plan to keep them in bondage targeting them from pre-teens, building prisons to financially prosper from their downfalls and mistakes, while young white men get chances because of who they are and know to ensure they don't get any crimes on their records that could prevent them from prospering in their lives. Black men have engaged in illegal acts just as other races do, but they only exploit the black men to pose them as a threat to society so other races can fear them. And so they're judged by the media also, who report their most vulnerable crimes calling them animals and beasts, but quickly defend white crimes as a nervous breakdown or they were suffering with mental instability. Because of the mind manipulation and enslaved tactics the world uses on black men have the majority of them having no faith in themselves. Well, also shooting them down in the streets like they're mad cattle that needs to be put down and are useless. Our black men are becoming instinct because they have taken up the role they are accused of playing for the satisfaction of the masses, refusing to keep a job or and pay their child support, while most of them refuse to even acknowledge their kids and continue to make more with different women. A majority of black men are being even raised to be deadbeats by vindictive, controlling mothers, still angry 40 years later about her kid or children's father or fathers, leaving them so they cuddle up with their sons, defending in their every boo as an excuse why they are not responsible. And it's always the women's fault why he don't work because they put him on child support So if he gets a job, the baby mothers are going to take his money as if they're okay with them neglecting their kids and being bums. 
terrible enough these black men did not have a father involved in their lives. And unbeknownst to a lot of them, their mothers were the reason, but lied, telling them their father didn't want them instead of the truth, that he was married and wouldn't let him see them even move away, telling nobody, not even the father, where they moved, too angry because he wouldn't leave his family for her. For others, their mothers were sleeping around in Jezebel energy. Some even trapping men because of their financial stability so they don't have to work. But because they were sleeping around, some even caught in the act. So they didn't or don't know who the father is or was. So they pin it on the man with the most to offer or who they are in love with. Most mothers' contributions to their son's irresponsibility makes them lazy and some disrespectful towards women. So our men don't use protection when engaging with different women, aware of the fact that they don't want kids and are very friendly along with peer pressures and trying to mimic the lifestyles of the rich and famous, unemployed, living in their mother or grandmother's basement. Most of them are abusive and are codependent, refusing to get healed so they can learn to love themselves and be at peace, to stand up to be the fathers their kids deserve, and the example they need from the men in their lives instead of their sons wanting to be like the men in their neighborhoods and the artists they listen to. Because our young men are growing up becoming disrespectful to women because they see the older men doing it. And some even invite and teach these young men how to be deceptive to women. But these grown elder men don't teach these young men any vital lessons or give them wise advice. Recruiting young men to sell drugs, even do them with them and buy them for underage minors and alcohol and drugs and drugs the young men who don't have a father figure in their lives. So they groom these young men when they're kids to begin engaging in street crimes to make money off of them, soliciting them. Men have been in and are in succubus and incubus energy and have stepped down from being real grown-up men that also try to live the teen life they feel they missed out on dating underage minors even getting them pregnant, then making them abort the evidence, dressing like younger guys and driving cars that are sporty for young men with no families for some, not men having a midlife crisis. Men are constantly degrading women, treating them with hateful energies, and some are very abusive physically, financially, and emotionally, wanting their women to bow down and serve them. Some men even try to isolate their women from their family and friends for total control over them. Men these days are very childish and irresponsible and have no sympathy for women's injustices, mostly because of their participation 
in them. Also, allowing others to violate their lovers in the same manner. And majority of men are trying to be rappers, on drugs, gang members, pimps, drug dealers, murderers, rapists, etc. Talk down to their queens and devalue them as if they are bitches, sluts, and only good for sex. Black men, we need you to step up to your duties and be more responsible and available for your kids. Get off the corner and in the backyard with your sons to teach them how to play ball and put the guns down and pull the trigger that helps to improve your communities that your children has to grow up in so they're safe and stop killing each other to represent gangs or out of jealousy and envy. Hating on each other like the other races do, giving them the satisfaction from their having to kill you guys because you are helping by doing it for them. Treating our own kind the same way as white races do turning against one another for material reasons and gain, refusing to stick together to help each other out, but will come together with other races and create. Men stand in your beliefs and power to stay on your throne, valuing yourselves so you can notice the value of others. And instead of bringing karmics to meet mom, dogging out the real women always supporting you, but men run to wayward women, wifing them totally, violating and neglecting their wife at home, trying to stunt for the streets when you are looking like an actual fool because of your choices, hurting innocent people until it's your daughter, sister, mother, aunt, etc. Thanks to all my subscribers, my viewers, to everyone that donates and supports my channel. As always, God bless and much love to you, my brothers and sisters.